So now that we've got the instance created, we need to connect to it. And I'm going to show you how to connect to it on both a Mac and a Windows. So first on the Mac, I'm going to launch my terminal and I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop and I'm going to call it key. And I'm going to take that Linux uh, hwpm file, the key that I downloaded, and drop it in that folder. Like that. All right, and now that the terminal is open, and now that the pem file is in the key folder, I'm going to come up here and click connect. And it'll give me some instructions. So the first thing that I need to do on a, a Mac is change the permissions of the PIM file. So from my terminal, I need to get into this key folder. So right now, I'm in my directory. So I need to get into the desktop, CD desktop. And then I need to get into that key file, CD key. And now that I'm there, I'll chamod I'll ch for changing permissions. I'm going to set the permissions to 400 and I'm going to do it only to that linux-hw.pim file. Okay, and now that that is connected, I can grab this line right here, copy it, and paste it into my terminal. So I'm using the SSH utility the dash I tells it which key file I'm going to use. I'm already in the key folder, so all I have to do is tell it its name, linux-hw.pim. What user do I want to connect as? So all Amazon Linux uh, users are ec2-user, is the, the, the root user. And then this is the DNS name for the instance. And you can find that right here. So now that I've got this in there, I will connect. It asks me about the authenticity. Um, this is negotiating that the uh, SSH. So I'm going to say yes. And I'm now connected to Amazon Linux. And now I can see I'm in the EC2 user folder, uh, and I know that I'm in, on um, that Linux instance that I created. And if I want to leave, I can just type exit, and it logs me out. The next thing that we might want to do is connect on Windows. And if I'm on Windows, um, I would create a key folder and inside of there I would put the linux-hw.pem file that was downloaded when I created that key pair. Now the next thing that we need to do is go to PuTTY and download PuTTY. And this is the one you want greenend.org.uk and you can download the installer if you want or if you just want the executable you can download that and you also need to come down and get the putty gen should be puttygen.exe and putty.exe so the first thing I need to do is open putty gen. I have to convert this PIM key file to a PPK key file. So let me load. I need to switch it to all files. And then I'm going to save private key. Yes. And I'm going to save it as the same thing. So 
So now in my key file, I have the PIM and the PPK. Let me open PuTTY. And then for my instance, I need to get the public DNS name. And that goes in here. And then under SSH, authentication, it wants the private key file. And when I click open, I get this message about the SSH again. I click on yes. It asked me who I wanted to log in as. I chose EC2 user because that is the default account when you create a Linux instance. And I can see that I'm connected to uh, the, the Amazon Linux 2 uh, machine image the EC2 instance that I just created. So from here, I'm ready to uh, install software, update, whatever I need to do. And hopefully this will help you get connected to your EC2 instance on Windows or Mac.